I recently created a reel about what ChatGPT is not. Well, that prompted many people to ask what ChatGPT actually is. So ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence large language model. People call this an LLM. So there are other types of LLM. Google has one called BARD, B-A-R-D, but ChatGPT has kind of gained the popularity of the internet and is what most people are searching for when they are looking for this artificial intelligence generative text. So ChatGPT stands for Chat Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. And what that really means is that it's been trained. So the LLM has been trained on a large database of web articles, books, um, other types of text to understand how language works and then predict what language and what kind of sentence structure and everything it should spit back out when asked a question. So the artificial intelligence tool can mimic real world language because it has been learning all of the different voices and types of sentence structure that is available throughout the web. I mean, and the web is a large, large database of information. So in my reel, I mentioned that ChatGPT is not a search engine. And this is where a lot of people are making some mistakes because they think that ChatGPT will answer their questions. So they go to ChatGPT like a search engine, and that's not what it's going to do. There's some big issues with trying to use ChatGPT as a search engine. The first of which is that it can have incorrect statements. All it is doing it is predicting language based on your question. It's not understanding what your question is. It's not fact checking its responses. So it can have an incorrect response. One of the best examples of this is is if you ask it a math question, oftentimes it will be wrong. And sometimes if ChatGPT answers the math question correctly and you question ChatGPT on the answer, sometimes it'll spit back an incorrect answer to that math question. So it is, again, just trying to predict what the best language response would be to the question that you have posed it. Whether or not that response is accurate is neither here nor there for the ChatGPT engine. The other thing ChatGPT does is lie. So ChatGPT is created by a company called OpenAI. And OpenAI has called these lies hallucinations. And there is a huge example of hallucination from ChatGPT where a lawyer was asking ChatGPT to give it some court cases that back up the claim that they were making in federal court. Well, ChatGPT was happy to oblige and had a bunch of court cases that they could reference. These had reference numbers and everything was formatted correctly. The court cases were completely fabricated by ChatGPT. ChatGPT also will lie about people. There's another court case where ChatGPT has basically accused somebody of committing crimes and stating that as fact. So ChatGPT can fabricate, hallucinate, and lie. So using it as a search engine is very problematic because of all of the inaccuracies in ChatGPT. The other thing, your kids might want to start using ChatGPT to write essays for them because it does generate text in a very convincing and somewhat well thought out manner. So kids might be tempted to use ChatGPT to help write their essays. Again, you need to talk to your kids about the lies and the inaccuracies in ChatGPT, especially if they're going to try and use it as homework because these are things that will need to be fact checked. And as good as ChatGPT is, I will say teachers are smarter. They can understand when something has been generated by AI because it does sound a little unnatural. As natural as it's trying to sound, you can still see there's repetitiveness and there's other things that kind of make it 
a little clearer that it is not coming from a human being. There is something called voice where when I am writing, it is in my own voice. And that is something that you can feel is lacking from ChatGPT responses. So those are a few of the warnings about ChatGPT. Don't take anything ChatGPT says seriously. Always take it with a grain of salt. And if anything, ChatGPT is just kind of fun to talk to and play with. I would use it maybe as a tool to create flyers or other things like that. But definitely don't trust what it says and, and try and stay safe out there.